Hi everyone, it's Francis. I'm here with another homework alert. This one is how to have greater impact as a speaker. I found myself repeatedly giving the same three pieces of advice recently, so I want to share them with you. First, don't bury the lead. It's super risky to take listeners on a long and winding road where we just keep giving more and more information and our listener has no idea what's going to come next. Now at the end of this, we usually do get to our ultimately great point. But the challenge is that we risk shedding listeners with each twist and turn. And so instead, we advocate bring the lead up top, start with your gorgeous point, and then give your supporting evidence. A really nice side benefit of this triangles up way of speaking is even if you get cut off. In the first case, the listener will have no idea what you were talking about. With triangles up, oh, we know your point and we know the vast majority of your evidence. So triangles up, otherwise known as don't bury the lead. The second form or the second bit of advice I have found myself giving is to match our confidence with our expertise. When we know something for certain, we should signal that with high confidence. But when we're less certain, we should have correspondingly lower confidence. This can be trickier than it sounds. So I'm gonna give you an example. This square represents everything I know well. And I'm gonna layer on top of this square a circle that represents everything I speak about with confidence. As long as what I speak about with confidence is within the confines of what I know well, I won't have any trouble here. I will, I will be all set. The challenge comes when I know the exact same amount well, and for whatever reason, I speak with confidence about more than that. And specifically, this is the problematic area. Now in practice, we often get lured into this area when we're asked a question outside of what we know well. If we answer this question with total confidence, like as if we would answer this interior question, unfortunately, people aren't going to doubt us locally. They're gonna apply that doubt quite broadly and start doubting everything we say. So when we're asked a question outside of what we know well, Fake it till you make it is not a good strategy. So what does work? Well, I don't know is a perfectly legitimate response, particularly if you follow it with a comma that indicates I'm going to get back to you within 24 hours. N no problem. Another strategy is lower the confidence explicitly before you share your perspective. How might you lower your confidence? When I do it, I use phrases such as, it might be. Here's an initial hypothesis, in my experience. So have ready the, the phrase you're gonna use to lower your confidence, and then you won't run into problems when you share your perspective, even outside of your domain of expertise. It's the speaker's job to match confidence with expertise. The third bit of advice that I have found myself giving a lot recently is that our ultimate job as speakers is to maximize quality per unit time. I'll go so far as to call this the golden rule of communication. So whatever quality we have, work to refine and refine and refine the amount of time it takes to say it. We should take inspiration from Blaise Pascal, who famously said, I apologize for writing a long letter. I didn't have time to write a short letter. Indeed, the same holds for speaking. So whatever quality you have, refine, refine, refine till you can get it as tight as possible. And once you've done that, you have now liberated that time to layer in more quality. And so if we wanna have maximum impact, maximize the golden ratio of communication. So in summary, the advice I have found myself giving most frequently is don't bury the lead, triangles up, match confidence to expertise, perfectly fine to say I don't know and to lower confidence, and maximize quality 
per unit time. So my homework to you is to reflect on these three techniques, and I'd love to learn how they apply to your life. Thanks.